Hey guys, today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to make crispy Chinese pork belly. Um, this is one of my favorite meals and I have it here just over a little bit of white rice, um, some raw scallions, and some gochujang paste, and that's it. Just a few ingredients and the secret to it is all in the crispiness and the puffiness of the skin. Um, it's one of my favorite meals, so let's just get started. So we're going to start by drying off the meat. Um, it's pretty much always important to let your meat sweat and then dry it off unless you plan on steaming it in the oven which is not what we're doing here because we want everything really crispy and now you're going to take a knife or a meat pricker which would be awesome if I had one but I don't so please be careful if you're using a knife like this and we're poking little holes on the skin um, into the skin so make sure you see little pricks there to aerate the skin so that it gets nice and crispy later. So now we're gonna season on both sides. Um, I have here salt obviously, and I'm actually not putting salt on the top of the skin yet, and you'll see why in the next step. Soy sauce, rice vinegar, garlic powder, and um, ground white pepper, which is something we use all the time. You see me forget to add foil here, which I should have, so just add a layer of foil if you're marinating right in the pan because otherwise the soy sauce um, might burn the bottom of the pan. But now I am putting a actually very thick layer of salt on the top of the skin, so don't worry, we're not gonna eat all of this. It's going to form a crust and we'll scrape it off later. I'm putting it in the oven, so we're doing 40 minutes first at 375. After 40 minutes, you'll see a salt crust has formed and that is what we're gonna scrape off and it'll allow our skin to get nice and puffy after this. So we're going back in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at much higher temperature, 440. Just watch it so it doesn't burn. And this is what we come out with. Nice and puffy skin it is just crackling there and crispy. And I served it over some white rice. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you try this.